The tech industry has a funny way of trying to make things seem exciting. If you've updated your product, just slap a bunch of impressive sounding words to the end of the name. I'm looking at you, Apple, and your upcoming iPhone 12 Pro Max Ultra Signature Deluxe. But this is just what AMD has done with the latest revisions of their FreeSync variable refresh rate technology. If you're unfamiliar with FreeSync, you can learn more about it up here. But in a nutshell, it's a method for syncing up your graphics processor with your screen's refresh rate in order to prevent the screen tearing and stutter that can occur as a result of your GPU not constantly pushing out the same amount of frames when you're playing a game. And unlike Nvidia's variable refresh rate technology, G-Sync, AMD's FreeSync is an open standard that's free to implement, hence the name, FreeSync. Free <laughs> now, the original FreeSync standard you know and love is still around and is still quite useful. However, it lacks support for high dynamic range, or HDR, which is increasingly popular for helping games look their best by providing better contrast and colors that pop. So in 2017, AMD came out with a revision called FreeSync 2 HDR, which made it rather clear that it was a second gen technology and supported HDR. But confusingly enough, that label is no longer around. Instead, we now have three tiers of FreeSync. Beyond the base version we're used to, there's now FreeSync Premium, a label that indicates a monitor has a couple of specific additional features. First off, a monitor needs to support a minimum refresh rate of 120 hertz at 1080p resolution, rather than the usual 60. Secondly, the display has to provide something called low frame rate compensation, or LFR. You see, a display can only turn its refresh rate down so much if your GPU is struggling. Let's say that your GPU is only spitting out around 30 frames per second, but your monitor can only go down to 48. This would render FreeSync ineffective, so what LFR does is force the display to show some frames more than once, essentially turning one frame into two, so those 30 frames coming from your graphics card are treated as 60 by the monitor, preventing stuttering and tearing. So any monitor you buy with FreeSync Premium will be a 120 or greater hertz model with LFR. But there's a third, higher tier called FreeSync Premium Pro, which, guess what, is basically a rebadged FreeSync 2 HDR. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. In addition to the refresh rates and LFR requirements of FreeSync Premium, Premium Pro supports HDR without huge latency increases and also requires what AMD refers to as meticulous color and luminance certification. I'd like to get me some of that. <laughs> But yeah, those are some pretty vague words, and it's not totally clear exactly what AMD means by that. However, it seems like these displays should at least get between 400 and 600 nits of brightness. Not necessarily enough for true HDR, as we explained in this video, but still more than you might see on a more run-of-the-mill monitor. So let's say you're interested. What do you need to get your FreeSync flavor of choice up and running? Well, although FreeSync is an open standard, it's still AMD's own implementation of the Adaptive Sync technology in the DisplayPort spec. So you'll need an AMD graphics card, though it should be noted it'll work over an HDMI port as well as DisplayPort. Of course, you'll need a compatible monitor as well, but while FreeSync and FreeSync Premium should work with just about any game, FreeSync Premium Pro needs specific support built into each individual game for the HDR features. So check out the list of FreeSync Premium Pro compatible games on AMD's website to make sure the title you want to play is supported before you take the plunge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm really in the mood for a Premium Pro kind of lunch. Something like Applebee's. Speaking of premium, though, Check out Bitdefender's best-in-class security solutions, which were awarded product of the year from AV Comparatives. Bitdefender scored high in independent tests and is protecting over 500 million systems worldwide. Today, we're featuring Total Security 2020 for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. You get a VPN, multi-layer ransomware protection, great speed and performance across all platforms, and unbeatable protection against malware. You can even run Total Security 2020 from your mobile device, and it's all backed up by Bitdefender's comprehensive 24-7 support. So click the link in the video description for more information and <gasps> a special giveaway. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you want to. Dislike it if you want to do that. Check out our other videos and comment below with video suggestions. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow. You almost forgot, didn't you? <laughs> That's okay. I forgive you. See you next time.